Hello my sax playing friend, if you're trying to figure out what to do with your pinkies on the saxophone, I have the perfect lesson for you. I'm going to show you exactly what to do with your pinky fingers when you're playing the saxophone, including showing you all the different notes, what the low notes mean, what those spatula key notes mean on the saxophone. I'm going to take you through each one. I'm also going to show you what to do with those pinky fingers when you're not playing those notes and you're just playing the other keys on the saxophone. And I'm going to give you a fingering chart for every one of those notes as well. So stick around to the end. You're going to love this lesson. Please like this video if you're excited about learning about what to do with these pinky fingers and subscribe if you want to get weekly free lessons from me on this YouTube channel. Now, if you want to get all the fingerings for the saxophone step by step, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash fingerings. I'm going to show you every single fingering on the sax with visuals, with a chart that you can download and start working from offline. So just go ahead, go to that website link. There's a link in the description of this video and you can download it for free. So with our right hand pinky, we're playing this low C note, which is the bottom key here. And then we're playing this low D sharp note, which is the key right above it. It's also called an E flat. But when we're playing those notes, we're actually holding down all three fingers in the left and all three fingers in the right. That's the only time that these two keys will work. So you have to press all three in the left and the right and press this one for low C, which sounds like this. And then you have to press three in the left, three in the right, and this top key here for a low D sharp or low E flat. And it sounds like this. Now, if you want to learn more about all the low notes on saxophone, I actually have another video on that, which I'm going to link to at the end of this lesson or in the description of this video. But that's basically the function of your right hand pinky on the sax. It's just those two notes, the low C and the low D sharp or E flat. And it's just those two keys that you need to press. And when you're not pressing those keys, you simply just rest your pinky on one of those keys like this. So when you're playing the saxophone and you're not using this right hand pinky, just leave it here on the low C and rest it on top. You don't need to actually do anything else except leave that pinky finger resting on that low C. Now, maybe you're anticipating playing the D sharp or the E flat, so you might wanna leave it resting on that note, but in general, anywhere in between these two keys here is a good place to just rest your pinky finger as you're playing the rest of the saxophone. So now we're gonna move on to the left hand pinky and what this does on the saxophone. And there's so many more notes that you can play with this left hand pinky. I'm super excited to show you. But remember, download the fingering chart absolutely free if you wanna work offline. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash fingerings and you can download it for free. So with our left hand pinky, we actually have all of these different keys here and they are called spatula keys and there's four different fingerings so the first one I want to show you is called a G sharp and we play those first three fingers in the left hand and just press the top spatula key like this and that is a G sharp key now the next one I want to show you is the low C sharp which is the one further out here and this is lifting up this bottom key down here now, in order to play that C sharp, we need to press down all three fingers in the left, all three fingers in the right, and the low C, and then we press this low C sharp key here. Again, it's the furthest one out, the furthest away from the saxophone, and that is what's called a low C sharp. Sounds like this. And we're gonna stay low with the rest of the notes, which are this one further in here, as well as this one down here. These are all the lowest notes on the saxophone. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is across from that C sharp, and that's called a low B. Again, we're pressing three fingers in the left, three fingers in the right, the low C, and then we're pressing that inner spatula key to press the low B down here. So you should see that low B moving down there. I'm gonna show you what it does when I play low C down to low B, like this. So that's going from low C 
down to low B, which is that inner spatula key there. And finally, we're gonna play low B flat, which is this one down here. And that is again, three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right, the low C, and finally, that bottom spatula key right here, which is the low B flat. And you're gonna see movement in the lowest notes on the saxophone right on the bell there. So that's called the low B flat. And now I'm gonna show you low C to low B flat. And that's going from that low C with three fingers in the left, three fingers in the right, and this bottom pinky here, and that low B flat spatula key, which is the lowest note there. Now, when you're not playing those low notes or the G sharp note, you just wanna rest your pinky on the sax like this. Let me show you. So when you're playing the rest of the sax and you're not using this left hand pinky, try to just leave it close to those spatula keys. You're not moving it around too much. You're not having it come out like this. You're kind of having it really close to those spatula keys and almost resting either on this B spatula key or the G sharp spatula key. Ideally you wanna have it resting on G sharp because that's probably what you're gonna use the most as you're playing the saxophone. So you just leave it resting there while you're playing these front keys and don't try to move it around too much like this. So that's what you do with your pinky fingers on the saxophone. They are all the different notes that you can play using your pinkies. When you're not playing those notes, make sure you're just resting them in that area so that you're ready to play them when those notes appear in the music. I really hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please like this video. Please subscribe if you wanna get weekly lessons from me. And comment below if this was helpful and if there's other lessons like this that you wanna see in future. I'm always responding to all the comments. And I'm also curating my future content based based on the feedback I get from those comments. So let me know what you wanna see in future lessons. All right, my friend, until next time, have a great week and happy playing.